this time. Here we are, Dale. Fairfax Avenue. The black is hot. I'm Dale. What up, Dale? That outfit is normcore as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look like if Tom Hanks f***ed the REI. <laughs> True. You literally just named two of my favorite things. Just moved here from Oregon with my family. Can I get a whoop whoop? Don't do that. I'm coming in fast. What's everyone waiting for? The train's Thursday drop. Totally. What's a drop? <gasps> the f*** you just say? Did my little baby make friends? Best friends. Prime Video brought the world of Fairfax, literally to Fairfax Avenue in Los Angeles, with the Latrine fan experience. Three days only, the world of Fairfax was brought to life, which allowed viewers to step into the show while bringing LA culture together in a unique way. Designed as a love letter to the world of streetwear and sneaker culture, as well as the actual Fairfax Avenue, the immersive pop-up included fun interactive experiences and exclusive merchandise. Hashtag verified the ride, the ultra Instagrammable centerpiece of the store, allowed guests to attempt to hang on to the bucking checkmark long enough to earn social status. The drop lever, which is straight out of the first episode, visitors had a chance to step up and pull the wall-sized level with Vegas-style bells and whistles to win exclusive prizes. Fans were able to show their Latrinium card for free perks including food and drinks with participating small businesses eager to be a part of the Fairfax family. I spoke to some of the Fairfax cast members about their new show. So gentlemen, I like this show so much. Obviously you can see, you know, like I'm hanging out by swimmers and I'm also <laughs> channeling my inner Benny Choi. I've got the, the glasses and the, oh, shit. And the sweatshirt. Yeah, although you although did. I'm a poser, I didn't want to stand in line. So I don't actually have like the train on here, but. So I'm wondering, like, were you already kind of familiar with like a sneakerhead hype beast culture? Cause I live right near Fairfax. So like, I see it all the time. I got educated through the show. It was something that I had been, like when I was younger, I was obsessed with, like followed so digital. I would spend hours on Nike ID, like making my own colorways on shoes and stuff. Like I was super into it. And then um, once I came to terms with the fact that I could not afford it, I was like, actually, I, I think the thrift store is more so my thing. So I'm just gonna like, uh, I'm gonna lean into that aesthetic. Um, but it's something that I always like kept up with. So it, it was kind of like re rekindling like a long lost love with like being a hype beast and like hype beast culture and stuff like that and i knew nothing about it i grew up um like a little church kid a fat church kid that was like closeted and playing dnd &D. <laughs> i had one pair i still have i own one pair of sneakers at a time like i make it run out and there's holes in it until they so definitely learned a lot through the show and um but it was cool to play like a korean kid uh, leading a show that you never see that, you know, Rick, you know, like there's never a Korean lead, especially one that's like super uh, braggadocious and confident and cool. So I thought it, it was a really cool. Fairfax is currently streaming on Amazon Prime. You want to party with us? Crank up the thirst meter. Turn and burn. <laughs> Let's no, that ain't it. Nobody dabs anymore. Jesus. I'ma just do my thing, do my thing. Yo, Joaquin, can you help us out? Been super busy with my new art installation. What's your medium? I'm gonna light myself on fire. Whoa. Love it. So cerebral. I'ma just 